Welcome back and now news from sports. Sporting coach Ekendra Singh is outraged with the referee's decision of awarding Dempo a penalty in Friday's I-League clash. Even though Flaming Orange were thoroughly outplayed and the penalty couldn't have changed the outcome, but it seemed that it was all the sporting coach wanted to speak about in the post-match conference. Sporting Club de Goa were expected to give champions Dempo Sports Club a good run in Friday's I-League clash after holding East Bengal in their opener, but lost 5-0 to the Blues. Dempo do not seem to miss goal machine Ranty Martins whatsoever. Following two goals in their opener against Churchill, Dempo created a rout on Friday when they took on Flaming Orange, scoring as many as five goals. The most controversial was the final goal, which was a penalty, and that seemed to have been all coach Ekendra Singh wanted to talk about in the post-match conference. I wanted to mention that the last penalty was not the penalty. Actually, the goalkeeper did not pass the Ruichi. And uh, the yellow card should be given to Ruichi, not to the goalkeeper, because he is pretending to be the penalty, to, to take the penalty. So you are complaining against the referee? Yeah, but I do not complain the referee, but uh, the referee should be, should be impersonal, not personal. But he must know that in front of him, the occasion was happened. Mm. But it was not the penalty, because he must know that the player is pretending or not. But you are making serious allegation that the referee is partial. I am not, I, I am not, I am not, I am not a suspect, but I wanted to do injustice now. Uh -huh. I wanted to do justice. Justice uh -huh. means uh, really the, what happened in front of him, if he did not give the, 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 the good judgment, then what, what happened? But uh -huh. I am not complaining, I am not, I am not, I am, I am not something, any illegation. So uh, we lost by 5 0 goals. I accept it because it is very disappointed. Mm -hmm. And my point is, I, ball is, game is like this, may lose or may win. But the last decision given by the referee is not satisfied okay. by me. You are not satisfied. Uh, I was satisfied the decision. Mm. And uh, your midfield did not function today. Uh, really, say um, our main player you know, from junior macro he got injury. Mm. I mean, that is why he could not cover up, and that is why we have such a better one junior players. Armando Colasso wore a fatigued look in the post-match conference, contrary to what appeared to be an easy day in the park for the champion going coach and his champion boys. Mm. That was a, a sort of a plan, mm. finish the team as early as possible. Although they will have given us a tough time, as it is the head of the ball, so they couldn't finish it. And then uh, Rohan Riket is still getting adapted. You can see, his, his touches, his passes are class. He has to get to use physical conditions. With bureau inputs, reporter Samir Bhatt from Madgaon. Department of Sports and Youth Affairs conducts hockey tournament for under-17 boys every year under the banner of the Nehru Cup. The winners of the state-level Nehru Cup qualify for National Nehru Cup Championship. But at the national level, goans get outplayed on the artificial or synthetic turf. Goa needs artificial turf as soon as possible to boost the level of hockey in the state. Coach Alexander Remedios hopes that the government will soon provide the turf so that state teams will be able to compete well in Delhi. This Nehru hockey tournament is promoting hockey in Goa in a big way because no other teams get opportunity to play on turf. But this department is sending this team for more than 30 years where these boys who have been here happen to go on Delhi and play on turf. So that's the big difference. We get an opportunity to play on turf. That's why the schools take a lot of interest in Nehru so that they win and go to Delhi and get an opportunity to play on turf. This is how the department is promoting the game from the base of hockey. I hope Goa has a turf in the near future so that our boys will be able to practice much on the turf and compete well in the national level. In the junior Nehru men, eight teams participated at the Taluka level and St. Xavier's higher secondary Mapsa beat Giri in the Taluka level. And today we see St. Xavier's beating Father Agnel Pilar at the district level. In this tournament, higher secondary teams are allowed because the age group is under 17 and so any boy under 17 from higher secondary also can take part in this tournament of Nehru. 
So we have the state level coming up in a few days and the winner will go to New Delhi to play. Boy, I'm just going to have a little bit of ice. And finally, we have a state level. We will be playing state finals against Holy Spirit Margao. The organization was very good. The organizers organized very well, everything. The full organization was well, well organized. And uh, our students worked very hard. During the Ganesh vacation, they were working in two sessions, morning and evening. And I thank uh, the SAG coach, who always helped me for the past 15 years, he's helping me, Elitha Fernandez. Report to Shamsundar Fatte for Prudent. If you have missed our bulletin, log on to prudentmedia.in or follow us on Twitter at Prudent Goa. Or meet us on Facebook at facebook.com slash prudentmedia. And with this, we have come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent Media. Have a great weekend up ahead. Goodbye. Tumi Purita Prudent. You're watching Prudent.